Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I want to show you how to quickly rename tracks or items in Reaper. As you probably know, to quickly create tracks, multiple tracks with the same name, we can go up here to the insert menu and choose multiple tracks, choose how many tracks we need. Let's choose 12, give it a name. Maybe we're creating 12 guitar tracks, hit OK. And that creates 12 tracks over here, each named guitar with a number next to it making it very convenient and easily numbered. But that's only helpful if you're creating new tracks. What if you're starting with some tracks already named that you want to rename very quickly? Let's import some audio. Let's go to my hard drive. And right over here, I have a folder with a bunch of audio files I'm going to mix. And as we can see, they're numbered. They have the song name in them, along with the track name, and the tempo of the song, which is all very helpful information, but we don't necessarily want it on the track, as we'll see. Let's select them all and drag them into Reaper, like this. Right over here, and drop them. We could put them on separate tracks, and they show up like this. As you can see, each track is numbered, but they're already numbered over here. So we don't really need that information. Along with the song name and the tempo, we can't even see. So we want to rename these tracks so we can see what's on them a lot clearer. And we could double click in here to rename it and then tab through each track one at a time. But that's going to take a lot of time. Or we can go to the track manager and see our tracks right here and do the same. Rename them and then tab through each. But again, that's going to take a lot of time. We could do this much quicker with a script. So let's open up a browser window. Then we're going to search Reaper Scripts X-Ray M. And that's going to take us to this website right here. And here's the website created by this user that wrote a whole bunch of useful scripts. And if we want to send a donation to appreciate all his work, we could do it right here. Now to download his scripts, we could download the whole Repack collection as it's included in there. But if you don't want to download all that, you could do what I did and just install it the old way from here. Just his scripts. Right here, download it. And that's going to download all those scripts. So let's go to our hard drive. And here's my downloads folder. I'll double click this file to unzip it or uncompress it to a separate folder that contains all his scripts. And just about all of them are very useful, but we're just going to import the ones we need. So let's go back to Reaper. And let's go up here to the Actions menu and choose Show Action List. Then we'll go down here to New Action. And choose to load a rescript. Then we'll find our downloads folder and find that folder we uncompressed right here. And for this, we're going to go down here and find the track properties. But like I said, all the scripts in here are very useful. So it's a good idea to look through all of them. Let's double click this and let's search for the script right here. Search and replace. In selected tracks names. Let's double click it, and that imports this script into Reaper. Now we could run it from this window right here, or make it a toolbar button, but I prefer to add a keyboard shortcut. Let's go right here, just type in a keyboard shortcut we want to use, and that's going to trigger opening up to rename our tracks. Let's close this. And now we could choose just the tracks we want to rename. In our situation, we'll select them all, hit that keyboard shortcut, and that opens up this dialog with many different options of how to change our track names. 
we could search and replace them right here. Let's start with the song name. Let's type it in. We can replace it by typing in backslash DEL. That's going to delete the song name from each track. And as we can see, that's gone. But next, we want to remove the number, which we could do by triggering it again and removing or truncating some characters from the start. Let's choose six characters to remove. Hit OK. And that removed the first six characters from each name. But if we notice, if we go down here, because these numbers were one character longer, we have an extra space still there on these. So let's select these, open it again, and let's remove or truncate one more character. So now the beginning is perfect on each. But we still have the tempo on each track, which we don't need. Let's select them all, open it again, and this time we're going to replace the tempo. 112 beats per minute, backslash DEL. Let's also truncate at the end four more characters to remove any spaces or dashes at the end. Hit OK. And now the track names are perfect. Just the information we need to see on each. But we can still add things with this script. Let's say for the drums, we wanted to add drums to the end. We could do that with the script. Just select these tracks, insert at the end, drums, and it puts drums at the end of every track name. Or we could re add the numbers to the beginning, like this. Go right here and insert at the start, backslash capital E. Then I'll put a period and a space. And now, we have the track numbers added back in to every track we selected. So it's a great way of adding or removing any characters very quickly to our track names. But we can do the same thing with items. Let's say we want to change the names on all these items. We could do that with a different script. Go back to the actions list, new action, load rescript, go to the same folder. But this time, we'll go to the Items Properties. Double click it, and we'll look for the Search and Replace in Selected Active Takes names, which will also work for items. Let's import this one, and it shows up right here. Let's give it a keyboard shortcut like that. And now we can select any items we want to rename, select these all. Hit that keyboard shortcut and get a similar dialog right here. Let's replace that song name, but also truncate from the start six characters. Hit OK. And that cleans up the beginning of the item, the song name and the number. But we still need to fix the end or the tempo. Again, we'll replace the tempo, but also replace dot wave. Then we'll truncate from the end three characters and then insert at the end that dot wave we just removed. So we could do it all in one step. So now the names of our items are perfect. Assuming you wanted to leave in the dot wave or the file type in there. If not, we could have left that off like this. But an even quicker way. To rename our items, we can do it based on our track names. So let's undo all that and do it this way instead. Just truncate from the start 100 characters, which basically deletes all of them. Then we can go down over here to insert at name backslash capital T, and it'll rename the item based on the track name. But let's still add dot wave to it. Hit OK. And now it's named exactly based on the track, along with the wave or the file type afterwards. So as you can see, it's a lot quicker using this script to rename our tracks or the items. So that's pretty much it. 
That's how to quickly rename tracks or items in Reaper. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!